positive cases like we've never seen before. Across Pennsylvania Saturday, 12,884 people tested positive, pushing the state's total beyond 400,000. It tells us that we're really in the midst of a crisis in the pandemic. We've now accelerated uh, the spread of the virus enough that we're reaching these record number of cases. Dr. Charles Karens is the College of Medicine Dean at Drexel University. He says it's up to everyone to do their part to slow the spread. I think, Steve, that people just need to remember that this virus really isn't alive. It doesn't spread by itself. It has to be spread by people so people can stop the spread. Wear a mask, practice social distancing, a physical distance, and wash your hands. Over the last week, Pennsylvania has seen a positivity rate of 14.4%. And of the new 12,000 plus positive cases reported, 5,230 people had to be hospitalized, and 1,065 of those are in the ICU with COVID 19. The numbers just keep going up. Every single hospital, every single system. And the challenge will be what happens when we reach that threshold? where we can no longer put patients in ICUs. Another challenge will involve decision making around the upcoming holidays. There's also some concern that because of the cold weather that people are going to congregate indoors at a different density than they would outdoors. But it's not all bad news. Dr. Karen's points out a vaccine and its distribution is expected soon. And because of that, so too is the hope that life look more like it used to. And my hope would be that we would get this done by June. Um, certainly, uh, a key other factor will be if you're offered the vaccine, please take it. Reporting Stephen Fisher, NBC 10 News. Count on it.